Hi, this is Pete Singer with Solid State Technology, and we're here at Semicon West in our booth, and I'm talking to Kevin McLaughlin from SACIM. Hi, Kevin. Good morning. Great. So SACIM is, is really well known as being the supplier of TMAH, which is the developer for Photoresist. Um, yeah, so could you tell us a little bit about your business in that area and, and kind of the big trends? Absolutely. You know, we've been in photo, in Photoresist developing probably for 30 years now. I think SACIM was actually one of the first to get involved in that back when IBM was, was actually coming into to Austin looking for uh, some next generation technology. And so we've been doing that ever since and have been you know, one of the major suppliers of TMAH through the generations really since then. And it's now that we're really seeing the challenges of, you know, what else do you do beyond that? Okay. And so that's not the only product you offer. You, you're also looking at alternatives, and, and why, why is that? Well, there's a couple of reasons for that. You know, one, one is that the competition level around, a, uh, around TMAH is very, very high at this point, and it's become a very commoditized chemical. And then there's also just the fact that being a toxic chemical, TMAH actually has a lot of downsides, despite the fact that it is very, very you know, piped in really everywhere within the industry. Okay. And we were, we were talking earlier that it's used uh, for almost, it's the pretty much exclusively the, the exclusive chemical for developing even the new EUV resists. Yeah, you know, I think there was a lot of conversation when EUV was starting that there was, there was an opportunity to get something more optimized than that, something better for EUV resist. But as that has sort of dragged on with the EUV development itself, it's become a, an easier selection to just say, you know what, we've got TMAH as a developer, and now the EUV resists are being, develop, are being built around TMAH as the developer. Uh -huh. Okay, that's interesting. And you, but that you're not limited to to that product. You also are into solvents, for example. Yeah, that's right. So uh, you know, most everything that that has been sold from a TMAH standpoint has been aqueous, but there's a lot of this that's used in solvent applications, in strippers, and so one of the things we're being challenged with is to provide the TMAH or, or alternatives in solvent solutions directly to kind of bring that next step to the formulator, to the customer. Mm -hmm. Okay, now there's so many new materials being used in the semiconductor industry, and I'm sure you're running into those. What? How do you? Do you, you must. Uh, do you partner with your your customers uh, to to deal with those new materials? You have to. Yeah. For you know, when you're the size of SACEM, and when you're dealing with the fact that you know, as everybody's talked about the fact that now we're using the whole periodic table, is having the ability to, to come up with a solution in a, in a vacuum doesn't work. So we need to be working with the formulators, the formulators with the equipment suppliers, and really this entire group working with the end user because that, that solution ends up needing to be very precisely tuned to that specific integration. Okay, and then uh, just part of the product life cycle is dealing with the, the waste products and trying to recycle as much as possible. Yeah. Can you explain what you're doing there? Yeah, that, that's one thing that we've been actually been working on for several years and we we, uh, we piloted this actually at a, at a place in uh, in Japan and now we've moved this into something that, that's commercially available we call Mobius, which actually is an ability to take a spent TMAH or spent quad hydroxide stream remove the, the, the TMAH, if you will, from that, reconstitute it as a high purity chemical, take the water that's also from that stream, reconstitute it as a high purity or at least a process quality water, and minimize the waste disposal and get the reuse of both of those chemicals. Okay. Well, thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it. A pleasure, Pete.